Hello hackers, welcome to the new video where we are going to hack information disclosure in error messages lab from Web Security Academy and powered by Portswega. This lab has error message that retrieve that it's using a vulnerable version of a third party framework. And to solve the lab, we have to submit this version number of this framework. And uh, before moving forward, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's start. And uh, here we go, guys. So first of all, let's activate Foxy Proxy. I'm using Community Edition. Then let's go to the proxy, click to inspect button twice, and then go to HTTPS3. And as you can see, guys, in here, we have very basic website. We don't have a lot of functionality, so we only have this home page. So let's click in here. So this is absolutely like when we click refresh. You can see it runs only two methods. So the first one is to get HTML page where we are seeing this HTML and then we have another one, call it Academy Lab Header, that we are not very interesting for this. So let me go and discover this page and let me see. You can see there isn't too much, so let me click to one of these items and see. And here we go, let me scroll down and see. And as you can see, we don't have any function, no comment, no review, nothing. But let me see the endpoints we have in here. You can see we have this product, then product ID equal to one. So let me send it to repeater. And here we go, now we have this page. Let me send it. You can see we have HTML page. Let me render it. And here we go, now you can see I get this page over here. So let me try to change this value over here. Let me see what is going to happen. Let me use two. You can see I'm getting the next page. So let me change it to three and let me send and here we go now i got the third page so let me try to put an existing number in here so let me say 200 let me send you can see i got not found so basically guys that this product maybe is asking only for a number so let me try to change it to string let me say abc and let me send and here we go, now I got something different over here. So I create internal server error, which have of status of 500. And this is very interesting because sometimes when I got an error page, it retrieves some information. So let me discover these information. So maybe I will find something interesting. So let me make it more bigger. So the first information that I got here, that the backhand use a Java language in here. And in here we create error, which is waiting for a number that this parameter expects a number, but I give it a string like ABC, you can see. So this is why it's back me an error. And also it's looking for an integer. So also if I change this parameter to something not integer, so let me say a boolean, let's say true in here, and let me send. You can see I still retrieve an information also, if I give it a very long value, which is not an integer as it expected in here. So this is not an integer, this is a long value. Let me send it. And as you can see, it's also retrieve an error and it changed it to string in here. And here we go. So let me scroll down and see if there is another fruitful information. And here we go. Now, nothing interesting for now. But in here, you can see I got something very interesting. We have Apache Structs 2, and then we have a version of 2.3.31. So let me just copy this one and make a basic search on Google. So let me go to my browser. So let me paste what I found in here and let me press enter. And here we go. Now you can see in the first result, we found that's the security vulnerability and then we found CVE, which is this version of Apache Structs is vulnerable. And this is what I was looking for. So in real life, guys, this information is very fruitful for you as an attacker to give you the way to find another potential vulnerabilities related to this version. And here we go, guys. Now we found what we are looking for. So let me back to my lab and let me scroll up and let me submit it in here and let me just press ok 
Here we go, now let me just refresh the page. And here we go guys, now we finally solved the lab, so please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and if you have any question, please put it in the comment below, and stay tuned for the next videos.